right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our first example topic, and that is just graphing. Uh, I'm gonna do just like what I did last week, one example per topic, and if any of you guys need more examples, just email me. I had one student do that, and uh, I went ahead and just I created a video for them and just sent it over. Okay, so it's not super hard, so just let me know. Okay, so we're gonna graph the hyperbola. When you're doing this, you need three things, and it has to be in this order. You need a center, you need a vertex, and you need an asymptote. All right, center, vertex, and asymptote. Okay, and so the problem we are gonna do is y minus two squared over 25 minus x plus two squared over 16 equals one. All right, so the center usually, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just sketch a graph here real quick, and we'll sketch it. Uh, so Alex, what you're gonna do right away is you're going to hit, there's some button off to the side and it looks something like this. Okay, just click that button and it'll just say, give me your center. And you'll just plot the center using that tool. Say, give me a vertex, you'll plot a vertex, give me an asymptote, you'll do that and it'll already be graphed for you. Okay, so that's what you wanna do. Okay, so we're gonna start with our center here. Be careful, if you're looking at this, Y is up front, so that means Y is first, so this is actually gonna be an up-down parabola. All right, Y is up, so it's gonna be up-down. All right, so our center is gonna start with a negative two, and it'd go up two. So there's my center, back two, up two, all right? And so make sure you are making sure your X is first and your Y is second. All right, now to do a vertex, okay? Well, this is gonna be up, down, so from my center I need to go up and down, right? But remember, this isn't 25 up and 25 down. No, this is five squared, so that means I need to go up five and down five. So I'm gonna go ahead and count up five. So one, two, three, four, whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's my first one, and then I need to go down. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so there are my two vertices. All right, and so we know it's gonna go something like this and this, but I need to graph my asymptotes next, okay? And so the nice thing is we already know where our center is, it's right there. Okay, so I already have my first point of my asymptote. If you're plugging that into the formula, remember it's rise over run. So my rise is five, plus or minus five, and my run, well 16 is really four squared, okay? So my run would be four. So rise over run, my y over my x. All right, and then it's really technically the equation would be x uh, plus 2, and then um, we want to actually be up 2, so plus 2 again. Okay, um, so do you remember inside parentheses opposite, outside's regular? All right, and so I don't really need the equation because all I care about is like, oh, I'm centered here, which I'm already there, and now I need to do my rise over my run. Well, I already went up 5, so now I just need to go over 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's that first point. Okay, and so this is the positive asymptote, positive sloping asymptote, because I went up and over, I went up and right. Okay, so now I need to do the negative sloping one, which would be up five, but then I need to go left, one, two, three, four. Okay, and so that's gonna be this guy. All right, and so now I can go ahead and just sketch this graph. All right, and so I'll go out to my asymptotes. And that will my that will be my hyperbola.